Hey everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. I know this coronavirus has changed our lives a lot, it certainly changed mine. As you can see, I'm not in my usual location. I normally shoot these in my office, but because my wife is at home in the office, I didn't want to disturb her, so I'm actually shooting this from a listing of mine. So we'll get on to the market. There has been a definite downturn, the amount of buyers are looking for properties right now. Uh, a survey with the California Association of Realtors showed that about 80% of buyers have disappeared from the market. And that's definitely evident with me. All my buyers have stopped looking. Uh, my sellers are optimistic, uh, including the one that I'm sitting at now. And we were lucky enough to put this in escrow just five days after we hit the market. What was interesting though is that I only got about three or four phone calls. And so to kind of get an idea of the amount of interest this property had, I went to Redfin and at the moment it's got about 3,000 views. And of those 3,000 views, I'm sure a lot of people are just couch surfing and just checking things out. But it does have over 100 favorites, meaning that the buyers really love the home, but they're not confident enough to get outside and take a look in person. So this property was interesting because the buyer actually purchased this site unseen. They called me, we did a FaceTime tour, I sent them some plans, I did some measurements, I sent some other videos that I'd taken of the property in the area, and we actually went into contract without them seeing it in person. So we've actually entered a buyer's market here in LA, which hasn't happened for a number of years. So what's happening right now is that a lot of investors, a lot of savvy buyers are going out there and submitting low ball or low offers. Now this can work if the seller has to sell, but for a lot of sellers, they're gonna be patient, they're gonna wait and see what happens a month or two or three from now, and then come back on the market, mostly when this shelter in place ban has been lifted. Now, of course, we currently are in a recession, and let's hope it doesn't turn into a depression. But what's interesting in the five past recessions, real estate prices have only dropped twice. Of course, in 2008, we had the recession that was caused by housing, so there was a big dramatic drop there. 2001, dot-com bubble, prices actually went up. 91, they went down, but less than 2%. And as you can see with the other two recessions, real estate prices actually increased. So of course, those recessions were caused by some type of economic impact or reaction. I was on an interesting Zoom call today with an agent in New York, and they're actually relating the current situation that we're in now to what happened during September 11. So obviously through September, October, November, the market was completely flat. But come December, and certainly in January, the market really took off. So I'm interested to see if that similar type of timeline happens in this situation. Okay, now we'll check out the market stats, and March obviously won't show the full impact of the coronavirus because it happened halfway through March. But I think this is an indication somewhat, as you can see there's a drop off of home for sale between February and March. This should have went up, but as you can see it has gone down. We'll switch over to closed sales, big jump from February to March, but of course these March closings would have been properties that are put into escrow, more than likely in February or perhaps even January. Right now, we'll check out the sales price for March. And as expected, it took over February as being the highest average sales price across the MLS. Okay, so just finally on interest rates, I know before when coronavirus hit, the rates seemed to be at all time lows. And at the same time when coronavirus really came to light, the rates seemed to go up. It wasn't necessarily because of coronavirus. It had a lot to do with the fact that the banks were just inundated refinancing. And so they didn't have to advertise these low rates to generate more business because they already had too much. Of course, at the same time now that coronavirus has fully come to light, the banks are being very cautious about who they lend to. So the lending guidelines have really constrained. At the same time, the rates are going to be up. Just give it a month or two once they kind of get rid of the backlog or refinances, and then you'll see those rates come back down again. That's all. I hope everyone stays safe, and I'll see you next month.